Are you tired of square shaped volumes in Unreal? Well, I might have the solution for you. I just released my new custom shaped volumes package on the Unreal Engine for a marketplace, which is designed to trigger behavior for when your player character enters a specific area. So this was, this was created with your player character in mind. And this will be the overview video where I will quickly try to explain uh, what it is, uh, what you would have to do to add your own logic and just how to get started. But there will be a lot of other videos really going in depth with placing one in your level or creating a new uh, child that does the behavior you want. Speaking about that, there's a BP, BP duplicate me volume that you can duplicate. And then when you open it, you can see three events, event entered volume, event left volume, and event fade range update. So the, basically when you start and you did the migrate video, which only should only take you a few minutes, you'll be able to set up, create a whole bunch of different uh, volumes doing logic for when your player character enters the zone. Uh, the fade range is used to gradually uh, have an effect fade in. So here is the post-process example. There's three examples included in this package, the audio, post -process, an audio uh, volume, post-process, and one for town names, which is just a very basic widget at the top of your screen. So the fade range makes this post-process go from zero to one as you approach it. That's what the, uh, the range is used for. Now it's called custom shaped volumes. This is not really a volume, this is more of a 2D area. So this could be all the way up in the sky, but still, if I stand in this spot in the middle, I'm still going to be in the volume. If you wanna create an actual volume, there's um, edit, there's variables for that on the, um, on the actor as well. So you can just turn on height, and then when we visualize, you can see the height visualized. So if I'm standing here, I'm not inside the volume. I have to be uh, either in the fade range or in the actual height height range, which is indicated with yellow. So I hope this gave you a, a little quick overview into uh, what you can expect of this package. Now you can create your own shapes just with this spline, but we go about, we talk about that in a later video as well. So you can create very detailed areas for your game. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you already got the pack, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a five-star rating, because that really helps. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to join me on Discord. There's a lot of tutorial videos over there, sometimes more than um, publicly available on YouTube, just because I don't want to clutter the channel or the playlist with all that content. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Best of luck with your projects, and I will see you in the next one.